The human thirst for new discoveries seem unquenchable, which is a good thing. Everything that we enjoy today is all because of discoveries in the past, some of which have even changed our lives for the better. Number one especially because if it wasn't discovered, the world would literally not be what it is today. Find out what it is as we give you 10 important discoveries that changed people's lives. Number 10. Wilhelm Röntgen, X-rays. In today's world, doctors order x-rays to diagnose all sorts of problems. A broken bone, pneumonia, heart failure, and much, much more. Mammography, the standard screening method for breast cancer, uses x-rays as well. We barely think about it, it's just so ubiquitous. Wilhelm Rottingen, professor of physics in Würzburg, Bavaria, discovered x-rays in 1895. And it was also completely by accident. This was testing whether cathode rays could pass through glass. His cathode tube was covered in heavy black paper, so he was surprised when an incandescent green light nevertheless escaped and projected onto a nearby fluorescent screen. Through experimentation, he found that the mysterious lights would pass through most substances but leave shadows of solid objects. Because he didn't know what the rays were, he called them X, meaning unknown rays. This discovery changed Professor Rottingen's life forever when he was given the first ever Nobel Prize in Physics in 1901. Unfortunately, his discovery might have directly caused his death as well. He had passed away due to colorectal cancer in 1923. Number 9. Louise Pasteur, Pasteurization. Nowadays, we take a lot of things for granted. We drink a glass of milk or OJ in the morning without thinking much about it. But did you know that there was a time that doing the same thing could make you sick or even worse, kill you? Talk about a severe case of lactose intolerance. Either way, you can thank Louise Pasteur for making breakfast safe for you again. He developed the process of pasteurization, which is a process where certain foods are quickly heated for a short time to kill bacteria that can make you sick. Pasteurization keeps food safe and does not affect the nutrients found in foods. Pasteurization is important because the bacteria naturally found in some foods can make you very sick. Eating unpasteurized foods can lead to fever, vomiting, and diarrhea. In some cases, it can also lead to conditions like kidney failure, miscarriage, and even death. This discovery also paved the way for sterilization processes, such as used by surgeons to sterilize their equipment, which has saved millions of lives. It also made Louis Pasteur one of the premier scientists of all time. Number 8. Michael Faraday, Electricity. No matter how some of you dream of living off the grid, I'm pretty sure you'll be panicking after a few hours of having no access to a power outlet. Let's face it, we built our lives around electricity, and from our modern perspective, it's extremely hard to imagine our distant ancestors living without it. And it's all thanks to Michael Faraday. First things first, let me just clarify that Michael Faraday discovered electricity. People have known about electricity since ancient times. In fact, Benjamin Franklin's famous kite experiment predated Faraday by about a century. Nonetheless, we have Faraday to thank for our basic principles of electricity generation. Building on the experiments of Franklin and others, he observed that he would create or induce electric current by moving magnets inside coils of copper wire. The discovery of electromagnetic induction revolutionized how we use energy. In fact, Faraday's process is used in modern power production. Although today's power plants produce much stronger currents on a much larger scale than Faraday's handheld service. Number 7. Percy Spencer, Microwaves. Today, the sight, sounds, and smells in the microwave oven are immediately familiar to most Americans. There's a microwave in 90% of American homes eating everything from popcorn to pork rinds in a hurry. So before you open that bag of microwavable popcorn or dig into that reheated leftover pizza, spare a few seconds of silence in remembrance of the man that made it all possible, Percy Spencer. In 1946, Percy Spencer, an engineer for the Raytheon Corporation, was working on a radar-related project. While testing a new vacuum tube, he discovered that a peanut cluster bar, and not a chocolate bar as most people think, he had had in his pocket melted more quickly than he would have expected. He became intrigued and started experimenting by aiming the tube at other items, such as eggs and popcorn kernels. Spencer concluded that the heat the object's experience was from the microwave energy. Soon after, on October 8, 1945, Raytheon filed a patent for the first microwave and changed the way we cook and reheat food forever. Number 6. Noah McVicker and K. Zufall, Play-Doh. Childhood would not be complete without Play-Doh. Kids have been playing with it since the 1930s, despite the fact that it actually wasn't supposed to be a toy. 
The claim was first designed by Noah McVicker, who worked with his brother Cleo at a soap company. No, they didn't make a kid's toy. Instead, they had created a wallpaper cleaner and used it to clean the soot off the walls of houses which had coal-burning fireplaces. However, after the introduction of vinyl wallpaper, which could be cleaned with water, wallpaper cleaner was no longer necessary, since a wet sponge could do the job. But before the McVickers went out of business, a nursery school teacher named Kay Zufall came up with another use for the product. She had heard the kids could make decorations out of the wallpaper cleaner, so she tried it in class, and her students loved it. The McVickers decided to remove the detergent and add coloring, and after Kay suggested the name Palado instead of Kutal's rainbow modeling compound, the clay that we know and love was created. And it's still here to this very day, staining the walls it was developed to clean in the first place. And also looking really delicious in some cases. Number 5. George de Mastral, Velcro. In 1948, the Swiss engineer and amateur mountaineer went hiking in the woods with his dog. Upon arriving back at his home, he took note of the burrs that clung to his clothes, and he wondered if such an idea could be useful in commercial application. He studied a burr under a microscope only to discover that they were covered in tiny hooks, which allowed them to grab onto clothes and fur that brushed in passing. After more than eight years of research and work, he created what is known now today as Velcro, the combinations of the words velvet and crochet. Weirdly enough, Velcro became a household name because of NASA. In the 1960s, Apollo astronauts used Velcro to secure all manner of devices in space for easy retrieval. Number 4. Roy Plunkett, Teflon. We take a lot of things for granted these days as something that I've said a lot in this script. Back then, even simple acts could be as complicated, like frying an egg, for instance. Just ask your grandma how frustrating it was to have these suckers stick to the bottom of the frying pan. But after this find, the age of sticky pan bottoms came to an end. Teflon, that non-stick coating at the bottom of your frying pan, was discovered by Roy Plunkett. Plunkett was an employee of the DuPont Company's Jackson Laboratory in 1938, and that year he was researching new refrigerants. One substance that Plunkett experimented with was tetrafluorothylene, or TFE gas. When he returned to open a cylinder he'd stored his gas in, he was surprised that the TFE had polymerized to form a mysterious white powder inside the container. Curious, Plunkett conducted some experiments and found that the powder was not only heat resistant, but it also had low surface friction and was inert to corrosive acids, ideal for cooking ware. Number 3. Harry Coover Jr. Super Glue. When Harry Coover Jr. first discovered the substance that would become super glue, he was actually experimenting with clear plastic gun sights for use in World War II. He'd been playing around with a glass of chemicals called acrylates, but found that the formula he came up with was too sticky and abandoned the substance. Years later, in 1951, Coover was again looking at acrylates, this time for use in a heat resistant coating for jet cockpits. One day, his colleague Fred Joyner spread one of the acrylate compounds between two lenses to examine it with a refractometer. To his dismay, he found that the two lenses stuck together and couldn't be separated, a waste of expensive lab equipment. Or so he thought. This time around, Coover saw the potential in the sticky substance, and several years later, it finally went on the market as an adhesive we know today as Super Glue. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Now, what morbid whale-related find changed the life of its discoverer, and at the same time, other people's lives forever? Find out next with number two, Spermaceti. Okay, first things first, what on earth is Spermaceti? Well, Spermaceti is a waxy substance that can be found in the skulls of sperm whales. No one really knows who discovered the stuff, and much less who discovered the uses for it. But as soon as Spermaceti was processed into candles, it changed people's lives for the better. Prior to Spermaceti candles, households primarily used oil lamps or candles made of animal fat or beeswax. They pretty much did the job, but did have a few disadvantages. Oil lamps produce thick black smoke, candles made of animal fat also produce a lot of smoke and a quite putrid smell, while beeswax, although burns clean, is very expensive and hard to produce. Spermaceti candles burned cleaner, brighter, and lasted much longer than its previous counterparts. It was also easier and cheaper to produce. Whaling was at its most popular back then, and spermaceti was just thought to be a waste product before people found out how to process it into candles. The spermaceti candle represents a changing society and an evolving culture. A culture that was constantly striving for a clean, burning, and more efficient means by which to light the darkness. 
Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. Alexander Fleming Penicillin the introduction of penicillin in the 1940s, which began in the area of antibiotics, has been recognized as one of the greatest advances in therapeutic medicine. In other words, without this life-saving mold, and yes, it is technically a mold, we would probably still be looking at 40-year lifespans at this very day. The success of a disease being successfully treated and cured since its discovery, and it's all thanks to the carelessness of Alexander Fleming. Yes, penicillin was discovered by accident. Fleming was experimenting with the influenza virus in London. He was right in the middle of his research when he suddenly decided to go on vacation. He came back to work a full two weeks later and he returned to work to find that a mold had developed on an accidentally contaminated culture plate. Upon examination of the mold, he noticed that the culture prevented the growth of Staphylococci. I'm pretty sure I pronounced that wrong, but hey, it doesn't matter, penicillin is here to save us. The rest, as they say, is history. Penicillin became a huge success and it was used to treat all sorts of maladies previously thought untreatable. Have you made any discoveries that change your life and those of people around you? Let us know down below in the comments. Also, check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.